great, uh, came through, nothing broke, she performed really well. Uh, I think everyone on board would agree that she just loves the ocean, loves to swim in it. And uh, I think we accomplished our goal, which is to uh, uh, start the process of repeating all our early races. And here we are, a blast reaching out of Newport. All the passengers are happy on deck. Wind's blowing 19, 20, we're doing people of eight and a half, nine knots. Life is good on board. So we have boats uh, around us, mostly boats in the class ahead of us that we've caught up to. And momentarily here, the raid might just be leading the bird muta race. Boat for boat. The big boats will catch up to us soon. So buddy, do you like Northeast? Yeah, he's a little bit. I North love Northeast. We'll see how kind she is to us in the stream. But so far, it's the best ride out of Newport I've ever had. It's the interior of the raid. First afternoon out. We have the leak cloths set up so people can stay in these bunks. There are more, more bunks up in that forward cabin too. We'll have four people off watch at a time. And in the back of the boat, that's the galley. Here's the nav station. We have this cloth rigged up here to keep spray from coming down the companionway and getting on the electronics. And that's Jess's cave back there. She's our navigator. We're doing close to 10 knots as we approach the Gulf Stream. We've got anywhere from 18 to 27 knots of wind from the northeast. The diciest moment was um, having our leader line for our second reef point uh, part. And so going into a night when we thought we might need a second reef to take a journey out to the end of the boom to uh, reef the second reef line in. Besides that, it hasn't been too bad. You had to go to the top of the mast a few times? Yeah, that's kind of par for the course. One was a frustrating though. Uh, the chafe point I was talking about earlier, we did chafe through the uh, starboard Jenny, uh, sorry, spinnaker halyard. And uh, we should have probably been adjusting the halyard a little bit more often. We're letting it up and down an inch here and there, but we probably should have uh, varied that a little bit more. Because uh, when it finally came time for a takedown, it was uh, the jacket rolled over the core, so it wouldn't come down. It was, it was a trip up the rig for that. But I give the crew credit after I uh, cut the halyard away at the top of the rig, we pretty much got the shooting almost dry. So, relatively uneventful for what it could have turned out to be. Ray has a, uh, and she's a little bit of a rocking horse, but she was designed to, you know, cut through those waves. Uh, love to hear the, uh, the water movement along along the hull, but it's a very pleasant uh, uh, sound, Un unlike uh, some modern boats that are like living in a drum. Need a sad phone. Yeah, and this thing doesn't work. It's the radio. So we're all on our own foot, really. We're sailing with what we know on this little boat of ours. It's been unique for us. It's been uh, faster than expected. The breeze held in a lot longer than expected. Looks like we might actually make it there on this prevailing breeze. And uh, relatively easy for the bow crew done maybe a third of the sail changes I thought we would and uh, learned a couple things a couple of chafe points that weren't immediately apparent Just spending this uh, along with the sails up teaches you that kind of thing and we call ourselves the optimist because we're going to be screaming optimist. Into the optimist because we're going to be screaming into the finish that's our plan as long as we can find some clouds to sail under that's what you say. What's the latest? I don't know. 
Do you want to go to the We don't know. We're on track. We're going straight for the mark. That would be nine hours, which means... We get the record. Which means we're going to be... I'm going to go with the Optimus because that is two and a half honey badger watches. Which means we're going to take the boat home. Come on. Overall, i got to say the boat's been tougher than we have been. Uh, 80 years since she's won her class. Obviously, we hope to repeat that. And, uh, Amazingly, the boys, when they did it before, 32, did it a few hours faster than we're about to. So I give them a lot of credit. Obviously, the boat's pretty much the same as she was, but the sails or uh, materials are so much better, and the cuts are so much better. We've got more gears to go to, but uh, some of those guys somehow still beat us into this thing. So I give them a lot of credit. Royal Bermuda Yacht Club. Wednesday morning, most of the fleet is in. Yeah. Well, we completed fourth and six. That's respectable. Uh, we're a little disappointed, of course, that we didn't we didn't win. Uh, but considering everything, we had uh, uh, some problems with electronics, the newfangled gear, where we couldn't uh, download uh, uh, current weather or fleet information. Matt, you, there was some seasickness in the crew, but you were one of the uh, one of the stalwarts who. Uh, didn't seem to have any problem with your stomach. Well, I think everyone gets a little queasy, but uh, I don't have a, I don't have a, uh, a problem really with uh, motion sickness or seasickness. Uh, so you're a pilot. Do you think that's an advantage? I, I think that's probably an advantage, and I think uh, you know biologically, you know, uh, people are all built differently. I'm probably the. Uh, the uh, least experienced of our very experienced uh, crew, and that's that's a great atmosphere for me to be in. In that uh, that environment allows me to really uh, learn learn quickly from uh, the experience of being around these wonderful sailors. Oh, well, we're going to do the Bermuda race again, uh, and uh, this was this was a uh, a good race for us. We we learned a lot. And uh, we'll be back.